side effects, precautions, dangers of overdose. They should like, for them to have all that information, they must have gotten it somewhere. We are trying to recruit healthy volunteers for First in Man study. First into Human means that the medicine has been tested in the laboratory. It's also gone through testing of animals. And this is now the first opportunity we have to give it to a human being. We are looking for healthy men and women between the ages of 18 and 55, um, with no chronic illnesses and receiving no chronic medication. A healthy participant would have a balanced lifestyle, not too much exercise, not too little exercise. My secret of being healthy, it's actually straightforward, because like uh, I drink a lot of water, I exercise, I'm helping young children to do exercise as well. And in terms of drinking, I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke. A healthy volunteer would need to be screened in order for us to determine whether that person is healthy or not. On my first visit there for the screening, like I didn't know what to expect, but when I get there, uh, I find out they're very friendly. They come in for their screening visit not really knowing what they're in for. And then they sit through the long informed consent discussion and it really is long because we try our best to explain every single detail of what is going to happen to these participants. Those guys are professional. The way they explain everything to you, you understand from right from the word go. A day in the life of this clinical trial means that you will wake up super early to catch whatever transport you need to get here because at 7 o'clock the ball gets rolling and you're Height and weight will be checked again, and then we start physical examinations. So that's the baseline day. We may be extremely busy with them for the first morning, and then the rest of the day they do nothing. And that is why we try and have an entertainment area where they can watch television or play some pool. Then you have the dosing day, which is a long day where you lie in bed and you actually get tired, physically tired, from lying in bed and doing nothing but it's because you will have a whole bunch of people interacting with you, doctors, nurses, paramedics, and we will teach you about the importance of watching a clock because everything is done to time. This medication that is going to be formed, it's going to help not only the people around, but worldwide. So I also wanted to give back to the community, not actually financially, but with my time and with my dedication and my voluntary. You actually want people who understand that by being involved in a healthy volunteer study, I can make a difference in changing the lives of people in Africa. I think that is the big secret of a successful trial, especially first into human and early phase, is that you have to have that relationship with your participant to get the quality data that we obviously want at the end of it. And this other doctor called me, he said to me, Zeb, you're a legend, you're the first person to actually take this drug. So should it be successful, then we will be the point of reference, oh, we've got this guy. Even if the world might know, the world might not know, I will know that I was the first person, so I'm going to be proud of that.